Cars are normal when programming ESP32 or ESP8266 microcontroller using Arduino framework. Whether you are using platform I.O., IDE, or Arduino IDE, this is how microcontroller shows runtime exception. But how do you find out the cause of this error when all you are seeing are registered dumps and hex values? The answer is a process called exception decoding, wherein we convert this error into a human readable format. We can use a tool called a monitor filter when using the platform IO IDE. As you can see, the terminal is now showing to us the cause of the runtime exception for us to check further. And if you are using the Arduino IDE, then a tool called the ESP Exception Decoder is available. Unfortunately, this tool is not available on Arduino IDE 2 as of this time. Let's discuss more about this topic the rest of the video. So, I have here a very simple Arduino program which will cause a runtime exception when we upload this one in either the ESP32 or ESP8266. So, let's try to run through how the code works. I have here two variables called throw error and the dynamic value. When the variable throw, throw error is true, then the dynamic value is set to zero. What happens in here is that we're going to do a division of 1 by the dynamic value. Since we set that row error to true, then the exception will happen at runtime. If you try to upload this program in either the ESP8266 or ESP32, then this will happen. As you can see, you would all open see this guru meditation error and it says the for one panic. And then there is a backtrace in here that, which will tell you where the exception happened. Fortunately, the platform IO IDE has a monitor filter which you can set in the platform.ini wherein by setting the monitor filter and then adding the ESP32 exception decoder, then what will happen is that the value that you're seeing, seeing in here will be converted or decoded into the appropriate human readable format. As you can see from this program, it says that the exception occurs at line 20 of my main.cpp. If we try to take a look at line 20 of our program, then you would see that the error happens in here, which would tell you that the exception probably is happens in this particular line. It's actually really helpful, especially if you are programming program wherein there are multiple lines of codes or you are using several libraries also. So knowing where the exception of course is really a great help in debugging. The same also when you're using an ESP8266, you can just replace this one with the ESP8266 exception decoder. And it, this one is also applicable when using the Arduino IDE. So in the Arduino IDE, you just need to install a tool called the exception decoder. So this tool is written in Java and it, it follows the same principle as the monitor that I have shown you in the platform IO, wherein what you would need to do is just copy the exception and then the exception decoder will convert that into a human readable format. So in this case, you just need to click the tools and then the ESP exception decoder here and then the, this new window will pop up. The only problem that I'm seeing with the Arduino IDE is that the exception decoder is not yet supported by the Arduino IDE 2 as the support for the tools and plugin is still not there yet. So if you encounter an issue and you are using the Arduino IDE 2, then you need to have the like legacy version which is the 1.8.19 I think so that you can run this ESP exception decoder. So that is one of the reasons why I suggest also that using the learning of, about platform IO IDE is a really cool because it's actually easy to do the debugging as just adding this monitor filter will do the job for you. So basically that's how you can do an ESP32 or ESP8266 exception decoder. The link to the project here 
including the code and a detailed write-up is available in the description of this video. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!